Whoa, here we go. Fiends, fools, everyone out there, Sworn Nation, how you doing? This is another episode of the uh, Crucial Con, revealing previews of 2024. And uh, I'm very happy and excited to announce that with us today from Executive Replicas, we have the president of Executive Replicas, Winston Dunlop II. So let me bring him on right now to a big applause. Yay, here he is. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thanks for joining us today. I know you're very busy, but um, we appreciate you taking the time to give everyone hey, here. I always have time for you. Always time for uh, you. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, folks, stick around to the very end because uh, Winston's going to reveal what it's going to be releasing in 2024. But first, we're going to do a recap of everything that's out there because Executive Replicas, they're taking over the Coffin Burst and uh, they got some amazing items uh, out there right now. First of all, I want to talk about this one. What is the status of our lady, or uh, our favorite, La Morta? This is the Dark Reaper 1-6 scale super deluxe killer figure set. What makes this killer is these other guys. Where's the one? Did you see them back there? Here they all are. Oh, what's a nice close-up of the, uh, the other guys. Yes, with the Reapers that she comes with. What is the update on, on this one? I know there's always factory issues and things going on with uh, production when when can we see the uh, the release date of this one well i was told from the factory that they, she's going to be released uh from china at the end of this month so yeah let's, let's keep our fingers crossed no more delays so yeah this one seemed to be uh delayed quite a bit but it's going to be worth the wait folks if you haven't picked one up i believe you could still get on the pre-orders before it locks down for uh when, before they ship. So you can go to directly to Executive Replicas, pick it up. You have it for sale, pre-order there as well. I also suggest folks go to executive executivereplicas.com, sign up for the mailing list, and you can get all the updates of everything they're doing. So uh, make sure to go there as well. And you can also pick it up at Coffin Comics Collectibles. Yeah, this is a stunning piece. I can't wait to see it in their hands. Just to see that diorama, you got the two uh, ghouls that come with come with her the yeah that poster first. man that poster did it for me <laughs> so there you <laughs> go the original, there the you original go. monty moore art yeah yeah i remember talking about that back in the day you said you were just stricken by this art and you just felt felt in your soul that you had to do this yeah uh, and you pulled it off and uh it's it's coming it's coming soon yeah been hyping this up for so long i just can't wait to see people get it and put it on their display case because it's going to dominate their display case and it's going to be uh, amazing for the Lamorta fans. So yeah, and then seeing everything it comes with, it's just it's just amazing. It is definitely a deluxe killer set, and that's for sure. Uh, anything else you want to mention about about this uh, this one before we? talk about the uh, next like the, like the customers i can't wait to have it in my hands as well on my display case you know so that's uh i'm very proud of that piece i'm proud of all my pieces but especially that one because i was stricken by the artwork and it made me do this yeah stunning it almost looks like a cosplay model how amazing the uh the details of that all right folks if you haven't seen it already in the newsletter we also have the Hellwitch 1-6 scale action figure. It's on pre-order as well. This one doesn't come with all the extra guys, but it's got some amazing, um, oh, let me read the packing list here. You got that, that one head sculpt, one body. Uh, oh, it's got the metal skeletons as well. Forgot to mention that. So the posability is amazing on that. You got the horns for the head, the rivet necklace, rivet studded bra, uh, one pair of panties, the goblet, heart model, pair of wings, three pairs of interchangeable hands, uh, leg armor, high boots, the armor, and a doll stand to, to let her stand in there. Oh, and the saber as well. This one, and we it also, that top also can be removed. So if you want an, a, a, a pure yeah, for, you, for you customers out there that uh, feel that she's too hot, you can remove the top. <laughs> right, it's their natural state. You know, hell is very hot. So <laughs> you, know, you can't always wear that. Uh, <laughs> The metal bra so that is being and when's when's the release date on this one because the pre-orders are uh, we're hoping right before chinese new year so the end of 
January, hopefully early February. Let's look at that. She just oh, went into production, so. Oh, really? Okay. So the cycle is you do the pre-order and as you're taking the pre-orders, it goes into production and then, and what, what's kind of turnaround time for these? Well, these that's the normal people? cycle. Unfortunately, we're still suffering from delays uh, with the factory. So normalcy is still not normal any. <laughs> so, wow. you know, we they tell us one day, then they come back and say it is because it is, because it is what it is. I mean, as long as they deliver and the product is, is high quality, like we expect it to be, uh, I can only complain so much. So it almost seems like that is the new normal, whatever the, the longer lead times on, on these. But yeah, like you say, as long as they deliver, that's fine. If, if everyone knows up front, it's just gonna take a little longer. That's, how can, who can complain on that? So another reason folks to go to executivereplicas.com, go there, sign up for the mailing list. So you can always get, Winston's always updating the website, everything new coming out and um, all the release dates and whatnot. So, and here's another one that we are super excited about. This is, where is that one? What do we call this one? Yes, we new package just went together. It's the Wicked 3 action figure set. So it's got the three figures. Everyone went bonkers when they saw this. So we got, not only do we have La Morta, we've got Lady Satanis and Chaotica. And just in time for the, uh, we just finished up the Lady Satanis Kickstarter. We have the Chaotica Kickstarter going on right now. So if you were back in the Kickstarter, you want to get this Chaotica action figure like, to go along with the story of uh, the new story of Chaotica. Yeah, so you have, oh, you had a good point too. So if you order it from your website, you save on shipping because instead of ordering three separate ones, you can get all three at the same time. Correct. And it, yeah, just stunning. On, on here and then this one right here it's got the picture with you get the whole was it like series one pretty much that's series one except for the horse the horse is just added uh that's not the Correct. real Thago, but that, that was just the uh just for display on that but yeah that you got to get them all folks if you don't if you got the hell witch if you got lady death you got to get these other ones as well and what's the um What's the update on these right now? So, oh, right as of right now, they're still on schedule for uh, for the release date that we gave uh, in the pre-order, which I believe is end of second quarter to 2024. Yeah, wow. But you could also order them individually from executivereplicas.com. Get those there as well. But yeah, I, I suggest yeah getting this. Save on shipping. Get all three at once. Because once you get the one, if you only get one, then you're gonna want the other. Once it, once it arrives, you're gonna you're gonna have the FOMO, and then uh, you're gonna miss out on the rest of these. <laughs> and hopefully, you still haven't been stuck, you know. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so that's why you got to get it right now. Yeah, I love that you have the. Uh, it seems like you guys are leveling up on the action figures each time. They're getting more and more. Well, that's loose collector and Dave. You know, he he really goes to the next level. He doesn't want to stay at, he doesn't want to do one style and keep it at that because everything is evolving so quickly. Uh, he tries, you know, he does extremely well, and I'm very pleased to be working with him. Yeah, and then they do amazing videos with the uh, the updates on the videos and um, all the sneak previews of when it's coming out, like the production models. So. Um... Yeah, it's really neat to see that, see it come to uh, fruition on there. All right, so the moment everyone's been waiting for, how do we set this up? So we've got all those currently going on from Executive Replicas, not only, you know, and then previously they've done the Lady Death action figures, the Hell Witch action figures, and now coming up, drum roll please, I'll let you announce it, coming up in 2024, we have... <laughs> Boom. It is the one. Oh, I, you want? I'll let you say what, what's coming up. Oh, I thought you were going to say <laughs> oh, no, no. Uh, the quarter scale uh, Hell Witch bus. And here she is, folks. One fourth scale. So it it's going to be a big one. Woo, look at that wingspan. Yeah, nice. So not only is it going to have the nice version, 
We're also going to have the a naughty version for those who like their Hellwitch in a natural state. Uh, those pictures, you, we don't have those for uh, display right here on the, uh, the internet, but make sure once again, go to Executive Replicas, get the, uh, the update on that to see the, uh, the purely uncensored version. So there's a nice bust and a naughty bust. But that's not all. There's also going to be a quarter scale Lady Death bus. There you go. Um, this one is absolutely stunning. Who are the artists on these? Because uh... it's going through. Oh, well, my uh, my 3D designer, Jim Maddox, he's the one that, uh, you know, based on artwork given to him by you guys, he pretty much uh, does it in 3D and then they print it. Unbelievable. So just like Hellwitch, there's also going to be a Lady Death Naughty version as well. And uh, stay tuned for the images of that. So they're gonna they can be when when do the pre-orders go on sale for? Uh, for uh, we're hoping right after Hell Witch is uh, is released from China. Now we know it's on the boat and, and on its way, and then uh, we'll release that. So we're hoping end of first quarter, early second quarter to 2024. And then Hell Witch we're talking about this is uh, that. Oop. There she goes. Hey. There she goes. So this is the one. So when this starts to ship, then you're gonna release the. Yeah, when it's out, when it's from, when it's released from the factory and it's on the boat, then I know it's it's getting here. Then I'll, I'll release the bus for pre-order. Pre I'm on. Yeah, these are great. Yeah, they did an amazing job on on these ones. Oh, I just know. Okay, yeah, we got the flames going here for the, the stand on that. Yeah, this is gonna be amazing. Anything you want to say about the uh, these ones, these uh, one fourth scale? I mean, the pictures say everything. I mean, look <laughs> at them; they're beautiful. And uh, again, as a collector myself, I can't wait to have those on my my shelf. Yeah, this these are just unbelievable. Holy cow! And uh, anything else you want to reveal for twenty twenty four? Oh well, yes. Also, there's uh, a quarter scale La Muelta bust. To follow that except there won't be a naughty version of that and we will have a 112 scale six inch lady death figure and two other characters to can to do a uh, wave two of the legacy edition and what else we're we're also looking at doing a lady death a new lady death one six scale figure and I mean, that's pretty much it for 2024. <laughs> that's that's quite, a it's quite a lot. Yeah. So we definitely have to come back and do an update to see the progress on that. And as the, uh, the model yeah, after, after the Lama Walter have been delivered <laughs> after that. <laughs> so it is amazing that you not only, yeah. Cause I originally know you from doing these, like the, what kind of like the soft body, the TB. The TB League, the seamless bodies. Yeah, that's what yeah, the Loma Walta. That's pretty much what all the 12 inch figure bodies are used for coffin figures. Yeah, so I remember, yeah, you did originally. I I was first became aware of you guys when you did. Oh, actually, you did a, a Lady Death one and a Loma Morta before. Yes. Right? So you did both of those. And then, so it's amazing to see that so you're doing uh, Loma Morta again. Uh, help. I let picture, let this picture keeps coming up all the time. Uh, <laughs> The, uh, the Hell Witch, and to know that you're doing, you guys also do action figures and these busts. So it's just like, what can't you do, guys do? It's just, it's amazing. The uh, What's the challenge of doing, I'm assuming each has a different challenge and you work with different partners and manufacturers. Um, well, is the, there the one challenge that's... is basically trying to get the wardrobe to fit the figure properly. So a lot of times certain pieces of armor or garment won't fit it properly. And that's really the challenge. Also trying to reduce certain details down to one six scale. Let's not even talk about one twelve scale, but one six scale is somewhat difficult for the detail to, to be transferred and, and visibly seen once it's produced. So those are the challenges, but that's, those challenges are pretty much with every with every character, unless it's just a figure with a, a you know, a bodysuit on, but mostly 
uh, we get through everything pretty well. The reality is this, I, we're a small company and we do small production runs, but we do high end production runs. So this is, this is like, uh, you know, you're not going to go to Walmart and Target and those stores and find out stuff that you're going to have to go to specialty stores or order direct. So they're costly. The production runs aren't that large. So the factories that take these on, if they're good enough to do the jobs, I always have to be hoping and praying that a big job from another company doesn't come in because they'll put me on the back burner and take that big job because they got to pay their bills. So I'm always on, you know, even if, the, even if it's a bigger factory and they have like a small section devoted to me, if they become too overwhelmed with work, they'll go pull the people working on my stuff out of there to work with them. And then my stuff is yet again delayed. So this is the problem with doing these small specialty run pieces. I'm always at the mercy. It's bad enough regular production is delayed, but when you're doing small, high quality production pieces, the moment they're they're more so the, the, the their productions that sell more come in i'm put on hold whether it's a week yeah. or two weeks it adds up so that's the harsh reality <laughs> that is and that makes sense and i could see yeah i could see that's part of the uh issue wow didn't even think about that that's something you don't even didn't think but yeah you well, a lot of the, the other issue is a lot of customers you know, everything is compared to Hasbro and Mattel, oh. <laughs> and that's not the real world for us. Yeah. And even with them, they have some issues and they're the factory. Yeah. Know, these guys have, they're the factory. They're the, they're the owner of the company, they're the factory, everything is done there. I have to go get certain factories and sometimes those factories have to outsource certain parts to another smaller factory, uh, like my Maria uh, from Metropolis. We did her, the body was from one factory uh the chair uh and her stand was another factory the oh, head wow. was with that factory and but the armor was done by a, was outsourced to a third factory to do the armor so I, there were three factories involved in that one production the same with lama Wanta. i have i have uh, one production team doing everything except the skeletons the skeletons is from a third party so hmm. and actually now that i think about it uh, I was told, I took the deluxe Lama Welta set to another factory and they said, nope, they didn't want to do it because they didn't see, they didn't think it was going to sell that many. I said, but charge me to do this number and I'll adjust the price accordingly to what you give me. They didn't want to do it because they would make more money doing a larger run of something else than taking the time to do that small production run. So I got with a factory. Uh, and I told him, listen, I could give you a lot of work, but it has to be these very small runs, you know, 300, 250, 500, you know, the thousands. No, I don't have that. If that's what you're looking for, I can't give that to you. All right. Unless you're talking six inches, my six inches with loose collective. So that, that's not going to happen. And, you know, when they saw the, the, the long list of product that I had for them to do, they said, yeah, we'll do that. And they took on the Lama Welta. And they're so far they're doing a great job. Hmm. Yeah, you know, think about that with the, the small scale collectibles. Yeah, you're competing with them and they have to make those kind of just decisions and choices on, on who they want to spend their, uh, their time. Well, you know, every time you, you set up a production line, you know, you have to take a certain amount of people and this person does this and this person does that and this person does this and then you go and then painting and all is always somebody It's not one person doing everything or two people. It's like, uh, you know, it could be like five or six people. So if you have five or six people, you know, for small production run, that's five or six people that could be used on a larger production run, which they make more money on because they do in larger quantities. So, uh, you know, there's, well, there's you absolutely nothing I can do. Believe me, I, I'm working with the best factories that I can work with based on what I'm doing. Yeah, so thank you for your dedication on that. The first hit on us hard with COVID was our six inch, our six inch figures. Uh, because they would open the factory up, shut it down a week later. Open it up, shut it down four weeks later. Open it up, two months later, they'll shut it down. And these are government sanctions. Mm. So we were like, wow, people, people were getting pissed at us. But 
The saving grace was when these pieces came in and they went out, 98% of our customers were ecstatic and happy about them. And I'm, I, I really like those pieces. So, and you know, uh, the Hell Witch was a great piece. Mm -hmm. uh, the First Lady Death was a, was a great piece. And we just keep getting, Dave keeps just evolving the, the, the body type and everything to the next level every single time we do a, 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 a production. So it seems like they listen to the uh, the customers too. Like um, we have to, we have to yeah. listen to the customers because without them, what we don't have anything. <laughs> they're they're our bloodline. Yep. You know, and they're the ones that are buying it. They're the ones spending the money for it. You know, if these were twenty dollar figures, I still would listen to the customers. But they're not twenty dollar figures. They're seventy dollar figures, and. You know, if somebody's going to pay pay that money, they should be allowed to be heard. Yeah, it seems like you guys are totally up for the challenge. You don't see it as a challenge. You just see it as fun. And then, like, because obviously you love what you're doing. It comes across in every single product that you guys put out. So I know that Coffin is just so ecstatic that we're partners and you're bringing these characters to life. And I know the fans love them, the Sworn, Fiend Nation. Um, so we're so happy that you, you keep doing this and bringing our characters into the uh into the realm collectible realm because uh i know a lot of our fans are collectibles as we are here at coffin comics and as you are as, as well so thank you so much for for doing this and for everything you're bringing us in 2024 and, and thank you for giving me the opportunity to do so and uh yeah i know brian francisca they only like to work with the best of the best and obviously you guys are their cream of the crop and just looking at these new 2024 images, woo! I can't wait to see what, what else you have up your sleeve coming up in 2024. So we'll have to do an update for sure on everything else coming up. Just let me let me know when I'm there. <laughs> awesome, thank you so much. Uh, any final words for everyone watching here at CrucialCon 2024? Uh, just keep checking us out. <laughs> We're coming out with great product and coffin pieces. Uh, we got so much to do, so little time, but <laughs> check us out <laughs> oh is that that's right folks make sure uh, once again go to executive sign up for the mailing list always go there for updates on uh you know because the new normal of uh with the factories you never know what's going to happen in the future so uh thanks again for your time winston we really appreciate you and i uh, hope you have a great day thank you you too same as all right everyone stick around we got more crucial coming up from Coffin Comics.